nine of my blind playthrough of Steins Gate Elite for the Nintendo Switch. We are still on chapter seven, and as I recall, the last few events were uh, Fittis remembering what happened before she sent the email to the past to save her father's life, and now it is well touched upon of uh, well not or cancelling, preventing that email from being sent. So there we go. So that's where we're, we're at in the story. <coughs> They've been discussing things. And, well, she kind of told him that she agrees if he chooses to, well, undo uh, that, that email for the sake of sa saving Mayuri. And so now, well, her father is sleeping in the room next door, so she probably doesn't want him to hear. She cries into my chest, muffling her sobs. That's where we were. Well, that's where we stopped yesterday, as I recall. It's almost noon. The pain from my wounds has subsided, thankfully. But I didn't manage to sleep a wink. I promised Fetis that I that we'd commence the operation at noon. <coughs> I've already contacted Daru and the others back at the lab. Ah, uh, don't say that with uh, such a cheerful look on your face and your voice. Such a che cheerful sounding voice, please. She's resolved, it seems. There was nothing I could say. I could only watch as Fetis put on a brave face to say her last goodbyes. Yeah, she said that she understood, but she she was also at the same time not okay at all because she'd never see her papa again. Undoing things. She might not remember this time either, but still. By the time Phyllis finishes her farewells with her father and comes out of the study, the phone wave S the phone wave settings are already complete. Now all we have to do is send the email. But I hesitate. <sighs> Eternal separation from her father. <sighs> I wonder what Felix is Felix is thinking now. <laughs> but it's not exactly his fault that he, uh, her father died in the first place. I mean, at least as far as we know. <laughs> Yesterday, just before she left the room, Fetis told me the contents of the first email she sent. A hundred mil for your, for your kid. Take the train. That mail stopped her father from getting on the, air on the airplane. As a result, he didn't die. But that wasn't the only effect it had on the timeline. Her father needed to sell the IBN 5100 to prepare the 100 million yen ransom. As a result, Felix never donated the 5100 to Yanabayashi Shrine. With her father alive, Felix no longer needed to participate in Hakihabara City Development Conferences in his stead. In turn, Moe culture, which Felix promoted, never took root here. May Queen Yan Yan never opened. Phyllis wasn't as busy, which allowed her to join the Lineit tournament circuit. In other words, this world line, Phyllis has a normal life. On the world line I came from, Phyllis was not only a student, but also the heir to her father's company, an influential member of the Hakiabara development board, and a part-time maid waitress. <laughs> yeah, both at the same time. Which life is better for her? Which will I give her? Which will give her greater happiness? That's not my decision. It's hers. And her decision is to return to the way things were. Phyllis already had the, cancel the cancellation email in mind. These are Phyllis's true last words to her father. Joke on <laughs> ransom. <laughs> These things just fly by so quickly you don't even get to read but apparently she sends a message saying that it was a joke about the ransom 
when we change things back, will my memories of this world disappear? And yeah. <laughs> That's not for sure. It took her so long to remember the first time. Does she even have the same ability as him to remember things? I mean... Uh... I don't even understand how it's supposed to be so ra rare. He's supposed to be the one that has that ability, and now all of a sudden she does too, but not not quite as reliable. How does that work? Uh, they just don't tell you, and you just have to go along with it, I suppose. あんなに必死にフェイリスを助けてくれたのかいな。それは<笑> An important moment. Let's save. Because I'm not gonna send it for this time. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep uh, saves of those moments where where, where you uh, have to... To, 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 uh, <clears throat> to send the email or not. Perhaps when the world returns to normal, all of our memories of this world line will disappear. Perhaps another miracle will happen and you'll regain your memories of this world line too, but I can't be sure. I have no idea what the chances are. There are no guarantees. And so... I will engrave these memories into my heart. The memory of Felis, the Reinet Championship? Champion? The memory of our father who gave thanks to a stranger like me for protecting his daughter. For Mighty's sake, even Felix's memories have to be sacrificed. Or not. I give Felix back her phone. Don't jump to conclusions. This isn't a choice I can make on a whim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it must be done. That burden is too much for me to bear. And so we have another ending. My face swelling sub my my face is swelling subsided and the bleeding stopped, so I took off the bandages. I couldn't go out like that anyway. I thank Phyllis's father for treating my wounds and after Phyllis got dressed, we sat down at a cafe. それで今日までの他に何か方法があるのかにゃ。これは賭けになるな。フェイリスパパに送るディメールの内容を変更する。じゃあ、フェイリスが最初に送った狂言の脅迫メールは取り消さないままなのかにゃ。そういうことになる。
最初の D メールに関連させてしまえば<笑>フェイリスパパも別の方法を取るはずだレトロ PC 収集家なら他にも売れる PC はたくさん持っていたんだろうそんなのは結局大した額にはならないや、yeah. IBM5100 だけは当時たまたま法外な値段で買ってくれる相手がいたっていうだけなのや、yeah, well, yeah, that's what I had in mind It was the one collector's item, the one that people would pay millions for, and by by people who willing to pay millions for, I mean this, I mean CERN. Even back then. So, what? Oh my, you must let them know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. At the same time, it could be interpreted as an escape. A bet to escape the responsibilities of a god. This is a big gamble. Something tells me this not being the, the, the canon ending, that it's not gonna go well. どちらも助かる可能性もある確信なんて俺にもないんだだがこのままじゃいけないこのまま前入りを死なせることもフェイリスパパを死なせることも俺にはできない But I can't think of any alternative ヒョウナがそう決めたならフェイリスはそれでいいにゃ本当にパパのこと助けようとしてくれてるんだって分かってるにゃだから感謝したいぐらいにゃ And still saving her friend m a y u r i at the same time so 本気で好きになったし<笑>からかうなからかってなんてないにゃ今日のはフェイリスみたいな女は嫌いかにゃ<笑>さすがメイクインニャンニャンの人気ナンバーワンメイドだな客へのこび方をよく心得ている<笑>そういうふうにはぐらかす今日の嫌いにゃ Don't tell me that was a real confession of love to me <laughs> Well she called you her friend、uh, or prince the, day, the night before so、uh, I imagine this is as good as a, a confession as you're going to get I could certainly get used to the idea of being with a girl like her. I would find that super annoying with her nyan nyan nonsense all the time. Ugh. This would get. Th this might be cute sometimes, I guess, at first, for like five minutes, but not every day of, of the week and of the year. No thanks. If only this were a romance. But that's not the world I live in. <coughs> What result is that going to yield? Will the dice come up odd or even? Not even God knows. Felice has already written the email. The root of the problem is her fake ransom demand, which caused her father to sell his IBN 5100. This is the second threatening email written to prevent that. Its, its time of arrival is one hour after the first email. Wait, what? It hope I still remember you. What? Oh, oh, th that was phrased weird again. I think what they meant to say is I hope I still remember you, n y a after the world line changes. Okay. I think. <laughs> Even that is no guarantee. <laughs> I want you to hold hands.
In any case, that did change something. <laughs> Animate. The anime shop. <laughs> the world line must have changed. That's evident from the fact that reading Steiner kicked in. Felix, however, is nowhere to be seen. Did our very existence disappear? I refuse to accept that. So did our plan work, or are things even worse now? Is she at Mequin Nanyanyan, maybe? I need to explore this new world line. I head to the Tennoji residence and find Nae there, home alone. The divergence meter is there, as expected. What? The first digit is blank. Is it broken, or is there a reason for the missing digit? She doesn't recognize him? She's acting even more afraid than usual. Hmm. What's going on here? It seems even worse. He might be stuck now. Hmm? いや、しないから。というより本当に俺のことを覚えていないのか。会ったこともないんだけど。それは悪かった。俺はお前の親父さんと知り合いだ。Ask her where you can find him. よ、わすんだから。もう帰るよ。Something like this was bound to happen. It's entirely possible that past events on this world line, my relationships included, are very different from what I remember. My past might be largely unknown to me, as proof. Well, I was thinking Phyllis must be alive, because she was the one that promoted Moe culture in Akihabara in the first place. So if the culture is back, then she has to be around. Or at least she's been around for some time after the message arrived in the past. Enough time for her to, well, bring that influence on Hakiabara, but is it gonna be. Is it gonna be uh, enough for her to still be alive now? With the sole exception of Fittis, all contacts have disappeared from my phone. That's nothing but pure horror to me. To save Mayuri and Fittis, Fittis' father, we warped the fabric of time even more than it had been warped already, to lose everyone other than Fittis. That would be unbearable. That can't have happened. That can't have disappeared. I'm sure they still exist. They're my lab mems, my friends, my relationships with them can't have changed that drastically. Mayuri, Daru, and Kurisu should be in the lab like usual. Or so I naively thought. The second floor is vacant. Which means no time leap machine, no D mail machine, no phone wave, no sharp X68000, no nothing. Oops. Now oh, this is bad. Yabai. Still in the days, I wander to the maid cafe in search of a familiar face. It feels like 10 years since I last saw that cat logo. I take a deep breath and open the door. I feel it in this I feel indescribable relief when I see the two girls standing there. They didn't disappear, they still work here just as I remember. She doesn't know him? Hmm. 
もしかしてフェリスちゃんこの人にマヨシーの本名を教えちゃったの yeah, いや教えた記憶はないけどなでもマヨシーって名乗ってる時点でなんとなく想像はつくにゃ What about the Phyllis that can she remember? It's feeling something is very wrong. Toma, Toma, Hm, that's what he is in this timeline. そう<笑> <laughs> well, I guess it's not such a bad ending after all, because if he never invented the time machine, that means CERN isn't going to come after them, and hopefully Ma Mayuri won't die. Yeah, but still, CERN is going to take control of the world in the future. So, yeah, it's 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 not great, uh, but it's not like the worst thing ever, perhaps, hopefully. I suppose. <laughs> The coldness in the pit of my stomach returns. Does this mean my relationship with them has changed as well? Labo at Doconier. Labo? Labo at hell? What the hell? え、ラブホ。ラブホ。ラブホ。ラボはつまり未来ガジェット研究所と言って。You never created it. 知ってるだろ。未来ガジェット研究所だ。うんと。マヨシーはわからないのです。ごめんね。She doesn't remember. It can't be. そもそもさっきからなんでそんなにマヨシーばっかり話しかけてるのにゃ。彼女が夢の前で。Girlfriend, Phyllis, who's mine? I apologize and ask to be seated. And inside, I find Daru sitting at a table for two. Why is he staring at me like that? It's probable that he doesn't like you very much if you're with the girl he likes. And it's also quite possible that uh, him. Uh, I mean, is it possible that Phyllis was uh, Suzuha's mother all along? I mean, it's not too far-fetched to imagine if, if they loved each other and if Daru was uh, Suzuha's uh, father. So, uh, is it possible that she was never born because of that change to the timeline and so there was never anything done to make it so that the lab could exist or something? I don't know. Nani? どっかで見たことある顔なんだよな。どこだっけ。ま、そんなことどうでもよくて、とにかく君ってフェリスさんになれなれしくね。調子に乗ってね。<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you a filthy normal? <laughs> People will find happiness and fulfillment in the real world. Normies. Markers of normalcy include having a girlfriend, boyfriend, participating in club and or school activities, going to parties regularly, vacationing overseas, and displaying a lack of interest in 2D anime entertainment. Yeah. Fil you feel the normal? <laughs> Given how Mayuri and Fe Feris are acting, it's entirely possible that my relationship with Daru has, ch has changed too. Yeah, and it wouldn't be very good for business if uh, it was plain as day that some of the maids have actually a boyfriend outside of their line of work. Because then those weirdos would probably not have a lot of fun in that kind of place, like fantasizing about the maids that serve them. I mean, in the real world, it's probable that not all people who go there are like that. I mean, some people might might, might want to go out just out of curiosity. If anything, I, I, I perhaps go there maybe just once to try it out if I got, got to visit Japan someday. Just like I would visit a cat cafe, that doesn't mean I have a thing for cats or anything. Well, although you could say I'm a cat person, I like cats just fine, but... Just out of curiosity, to, to, to say that I've tried it once. <laughs> Why do I have to be cross-examined by Daru? The question in which is which name to use. ほう、そっかそっか。うん、うん、そうだ、そうっすよ。確かにどっかで見たことあると思った。The pieces are starting to fall into place. The lab is gone. Mayuri and Daru don't know me. We haven't met. We're not friends. We're nothing. So. All the time we spent together is gone. Every moment, every memory. Is this the price I have to pay? Is it my destiny to live in a world where even my best friends don't know me? And there is no machine to change that now. Am I participating as Felix's partner? But I thought the finals finished yesterday. So on this world line, it's tomorrow. But I can deal with that later. Right now, there's one more thing I need to know. なあ、お前は<笑> It was obvious. If the lab doesn't exist, then how could I have met Kurisu? What about the bet I made? The bet to save Mayuri? Did I win or lose? I should know by tonight. If things go as scheduled, Mayuri will die. Was it right to change the world line? And if Felix's father is still alive? Uh, if we save both of them, then I can accept the loss of my friends as the price. I have no other choice. Yeah, but what about CERN? And the future? Well, he's saved, apparently. 
生きているんだな失礼だにゃんパパを勝手に殺さないでほしいにゃん今日の今日のはなんだか変にゃんどうしたのかにゃんいや<咳> Is if it is his dad is still alive. Thank goodness. Now all that remains is to learn Mayuri's fate. Will she die or will she live? The answer will determine if all of this has to has been worth it. The Ore to Maiwa Koibito Doshi to you know Matsugai Nainoka. Mushika said, Kyono, Felis to Nokotova, so be that no canya. No. I see that Felis is as melodramatic as ever. I feel an emptiness filling my heart. Ah, so that's how it is. While this world line appears normal on the surface, it couldn't be more different. And I'm the only one out of place. I feel so alone. That didn't happen in this timeline. Why? But why though? Mayuri is no longer my hostage. I was willing to do anything to save her. Oops, sorry. It's not a lie. I have no memories of this world line. Yeah. Let's let's explain it that way. <laughs> she trying to use her power, Shishaya Break, was it? To see into my mind. She doesn't remember anything either, it seems. いつから何が原因で世界線を移動してきたせいにと言っても分からないだろうな俺は岩場時空の漂流者なんだふざけてる場合じゃないにゃ わかるだろう。そうにゃけど。な。詳しく聞かせてくれ。俺とお前の関係についてはとくに詳しく。本当に覚えてないのかにゃ。フェイリスとキョーナは来ネットの大会で知り合ったにゃ。well, wasn't it kind of how they met the first time too? I played Lynette. そこで息と合わせたのにゃ。フェイリスとキョーナがコンビを組むことになったのにゃ。フェイリスたちの息はぴったりで、グラちゃんでもほとんど負けずに決勝まで勝ち進んだのにゃ。それで一緒に戦っ
ちなみにフェリスとキョメは同棲中にゃ何 Living together already when we only just started going out? You really are a filthy normal, current roadline me. He's <laughs> <laughs> staying over at her place then. <laughs> yeah, but that will come. <laughs> What are you making me say? Oh, if it's at Ferris's place with her parents and the butler there, of course nothing naughty would happen. <laughs> he will never remember, but. <laughs> マイリのことだ。マユス君そういえばさっきもお店でやたらと声をかけてたにゃ。あいつはもしかすると今日の夜何らかの形で死ぬかもしれない。だからあいつを見ていてくれないか。いや、because he can't. He obviously can't himself. <laughs> Well, not by CERN. I don't see. I don't see why. If he never had anything to do with time travel. So, will she live or die? I was told to wait at Phyllis's place, so I've been sitting here for three hours. I haven't heard from her since she told me she was going to karaoke with Mayuri. Several hours have passed since Mayuri's scheduled time of death. Felis hasn't contacted me yet, but which I guess means that nothing's happened. I wish I could know for sure. I pray. If Mayuri were to die now, it would mean that I have failed utterly. I can't even send an email to say nothing of leap to say nothing of leap through time. Who's that? Oh, the father. Ah, yeah. Yujin to asobini at the very least, I didn't have to kill this man. そうか。高校生なのにこんな時間まで遊び歩いているとはいかんな。岡部君からも注意しておいてくれないか。わかりました。いつも娘が世話を焼かせてすまないね。これからも娘のことをよろしく頼むよ。私はね、君のことを買っ
What was that line I missed? So many of my memories have been rendered null, null and void. Okay. I can accept my fate. This world line is my home now. I'm going to make a life here. I have plenty of time to think about the future. After all, I have nothing left to fear. Uh, except for CERN in the, in the distant future. Taking over the world. そうするから、表の次第にゃ。まあ、Bad idea, probably. This game is only about 10% luck, the rest depends entirely upon the Lionetter's strategy and ability. <laughs> That's not good. I was able to learn the rules with, with these 19 matches, but I'm still nowhere near tournament level as a player. Was I really on the same caliber as Feris on this world line? <laughs> Reality 6 sinks in. Wahey, Rudin Yang. Wahey, Pandan Yang. <laughs> いや。じゃあ、今の今日のはフェリスのことなんてちっとも好きでいてくれてないわけ。こうなったら体で思い出させてあげるにゃ。え?え?お、お前まさか俺を襲う気か? <笑> でだから優しくしてほしいにゃ。落ち着け。初めてならば体は思い出しようがないだろうが。ようなにゃ。パパもママもお仕事で海外に行っちゃったにゃ。くどきももう帰っちゃったにゃ。ウッス。つまり、この
思い出が消える前のことを引きずっててその思い出を Can't you just tell her that you're going to make new memories with her? f e l i c e s words hit me like a blow. I feel exactly the same way. I'm all alone in this world. Well, you've got someone now. My friends will never remember me. The events in my memories never happened. You should just embrace this new reality. The path I chose so that neither Mayuri nor Felix's dad would die. I won the bet, so in return, I have to live with this loneliness, this isolation. Come on, you don't have to. Nothing is free, everything has a price. I sacrificed Suzuha's memories to save Mayuri. Everything is fine. Mayuri and Daru are strangers, strangers now. Kurisu has probably returned to America. Without Felis, without her affection, I don't know what I would have done. There, that's what you should have said first. I mean, if, if she's your type, I, I guess it's not such a bad thing. Oh, there. You said exactly what she needed to hear. Cat ears? Oh, I see. Back to Rumio mode. <laughs> I gently take the cat ear headband off of Felix's head. Her long hair falls down and dangles onto my face. I comb through her hair with my fingers, and Felix's eyes smile as if soothed by my touch. She really is like a cat. <laughs> This is the second time she's asked me that. I was too self conscious to say it the first time, but now. Rumiho. Ignoring my inner shyness, I say her name. Kiss. Probably? I guess. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Well, this is not the first time she said that. Yeah, <laughs> this is the second time she's told me that. I endure the tingling in my body. I can no longer return to my original word line. I don't intend to either. Oh, you couldn't even if you wanted to. You have no machine anymore. I'll keep living on this word line. Yeah, he saved both the other two others, and Fittis will be by my side. And this is the end. <laughs> ah, no, not yet. The finals are about to begin. Probably not. <laughs> the story of Oin, Kyoma, and Okabe of Okabe Rintaro begins here anew. I discard my feelings for the world line that never happened. I lock the, those memories deep in my heart. In order to live here from now on, I will become this world line's Okabe Rintaro. <laughs> Is it the credits now? 
yeah, okay. So, that was another ending then. The Fittis ending, I suppose you could say. Fittisu. Well, it's alright if I skip through the ending, I suppose. Right, okay, because uh, we've already watched the credits run one time. Okay, so let's reload that save. Uh, which one was it? That one? I think. Yeah, number three. And let's send that email and continue down that timeline. I will engrave these memories into my heart. The memory of Phyllis, the Rainet champion. The memory of her father who gave thanks to a stranger like me for protecting his daughter. And... Bye bye. Papa. For my sake, even Felice's memories have to be sacrificed. There! I'm gonna save that choice. And there we go. Chapter 8 Fractal Androgynous. My head spins. I feel faint. Uh, well, I don't know if, if, if it's a good sign, but there's a box right there next to the computer that wasn't there before. To the left of the computer. It's... It is supposed to be the box with the the IBN 5100, so we'll see. We'll see if it uh, if it's just a goof on their part or if it's really because the box is supposed to be there. Additionally, the injuries the viral attackers inflicted on my body have vanished, so has the pain. <laughs> Just a moment ago, Phyllis was fighting to hold back her tears, but that Phyllis is no more. In her place is the usual cute, cheerful Phyllis with an impish smile on her face. I look at, my, at the phone in my hand. Ferris snatches the phone out of my hand. もし見たのならばすれてほしいにゃ。あれはこの中に封じ込めておかないとダメなのにゃ。出ないと奴らが目覚めてしまうのにゃ。で、今日は今のはツッコミどころだにゃ。あれってなんだよっていつもの今日まで
any thoughts of them being together again? I suppose you can just set them aside and because this is not happening again. After seeing Fidis off, I head towards Yanabayashi Shrine. Mayuri, they had a fight. Kaede-chan had a fight with her boyfriend. How do I get them to make up? Maishi's never had a fight with anyone, so I think it's mysterious. I couldn't fight with the person I like. Since when do you have someone you like? I figured you'd put food before romance. Lol. <laughs> uh, I think it, it, it doesn't matter what I answer here. I'm gonna make sure. Because now that I'm so close to the end, I don't want to have to uh, m make like a hundred different saves at every choice that I get. Uh, give me just a few seconds. Uh, I'm not spoiling myself the story, but at least I'm trying not to make any big mistake with this. Uh, okay, there's no... Yeah, it's an in insignificant choice, that one. Uh, yeah, let's choose that one. There, that should do it. New message. Why she does have someone she likes. <laughs> Put cell phone away. On the way, I survey the area around the station. Okay. Moe is back to Akihabara, by the way. <laughs> Got the state the Moi stores exist again. But the return of this familiar scenery brings no relief to my heart. There is only pain, for everything I see confirms that Felix has lost her father. But I can't stop here. I pass beneath the archway and enter the silent courtyard. I walk up to the main building and jab the intercom. Girly as always, even though he's a guy. Is he a guy here? No, wait, this Lukaku is a genuine girl. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I suppose. That hasn't been undone. It looks like she knows something. Okay, yeah, so she's she's still a girl. And yes, finally, I've returned to the world line with the IBN fifty one hundred. Dagara. Mm. What's wrong? お。俺が怖いか。ルカコ。え気持ちはわかる。何しろ俺は。<笑> It, it might not have... It might not have happened in this timeline, so be careful what you say. <laughs> Crap, I just made things more awkward. I didn't have to say it like that. No, okay, so it did still happen then. Okay. 
ところでお前も IBN5100 のことも知っているのかい,いえ<笑>知らない<笑> That's a bit weird What's up with that? だが以前電話した時知っているようなそぶりを見せなかったかそんなことは Maybe I'm pushing her too hard. I should back off. I did a terrible thing to this girl. So it might be best if I stop treating her as my disciple. I need to treat her like a lady from now on. Why is this girl so lacking in confidence? I guess she can't help it if it's in our nature. What's strange? Uh, it wasn't gonna be that easy. The IBN 5100 isn't here. The world line is still twisted. ここへ、PCを奉納していたのは秋葉ルミホさんで間違いありませんか。おや、なぜそれを？もしかして知り合いですか？ええ、友達です。ルミホちゃんはとても立派な女性になられましたな。彼女がまだ小学生の時でしたよ。執事の黒木さんと一緒にこの神社を訪ねてきてくれましてね。しかし、パソコンはなぜ消えたのでしょう。誰かに盗まれたかと思いましたが、他のものは手つかずでしたし
Afterwards, Tennoji recounts his memories of Hashida Suzu, just as he did on the previous world line. I stay until he's finished. Welcome back, Anin. Omae Kanin? What? おかえりと、おかりんって似てるでしょ。だから So that's back too. Fairies no ikuta bite of the May Queen of the Cup. My river? My river was the bite of Syriana. What did on there? Do stay, Masaras on the Tarimana pot of Kikun and now calling the name. Anone, my you see, was Takara no Komimani sonate. Timeline has been corrected, it seems, at least in part. I should stop by May Queen when I have time. Chris is reading a Western book. It's the same book as always, it's pretty hefty, so it must take a long time to read. I walk past her and enter the, the, the development room. There sits the Time Leap Machine. Today is Saturday, the 14th of August. The first time Mayuri died, it happened on Friday the 13th. After Suzuha's sacrifice changed the world line, Mayuri died on the 14th instead. Her death was delayed 24 hours exactly. If that pattern continues, her death on this world line should occur tomorrow, the 15th. Just to be safe, I should buy a few days with the Time Leap Machine. I'll need time to solve the Lukaku problem. I should Time Leap right away. Still. But will Mayuri really die on the 15th? I don't have solid proof. Maybe there is no pattern and it's just in my, in my head. What I want more than anything is for that never to happen. What happens to Mayuri on this world line? I mustn't let my guard down, not until the IBN 5100 is back in my possession. No, don't hesitate. Hesitation could lead to an irreparable mistake. I don't want to see Mayuri die again, to see the light fade from her eyes. All I can do is assume the worst. Retrieving the IBN 5100 is the only sure way to prevent her death. I need to, I need to time leap now. I can always time leap later. I don't want to sacrifice anyone else. I know it's pointless, but I want it to believe. Maybe nothing happens in this world line. A foolish dream, perhaps, but still. Nothing happens on the 14th. So far, so good. The problem is tomorrow. And this is about the time that they show up. The time is 7.30 p.m. Komima started today, so Mayuri's been in Ariake since this morning. I told Daru to not, not to come back to the lab today, but to keep an eye on Mayuri instead. So even if Moika's group shows up here, they have a low chance of killing Mayuri. Will the rounders come in this world line? We'll soon find out. 6.54 p.m. The door isn't kicked open. Instead... もしもし。誰か。もしもし。誰か。ごめん。変なやつなのに。マユシ連れてく。And there you go, it happened anyway. <laughs> It's the rounders. They kidnapped her. And then they probably killed her. I grind my teeth in frustration. 
it didn't work. I still haven't averted Mayuri's death. He's so focused on that instead of instead of trying to save the world in the future. I'm still unable to avert Mayuri's strange tragic Mayuri's tragic fate. And so once more, I send my memories to the past. An unpleasant sound pierces my ears. My vision ripples, my flesh and my soul momentarily feel separate. <sighs> now I have my answer. Mayuri's death is still fixed, just as in my heart I knew it would be. The change merely delayed it by another 24 hours. I need to cancel Lukako's email. I sit down in a pipe chair and try to come up with a plan. Nothing. I'd run the simulations in my head, but all to no avail. No matter how many different scenarios I came up with, telling Lukako the truth had a 120... What? Had a one, uh, 120 chance of making her burst into tears. I don't know what they mean by a 120 chance. What percent? Damn, it looks like I have no choice but to ask Krisu. She's a girl, so, so she should understand how Lukako feels. ずいぶん深刻そうね。実はな。何も二直面してる。かなりデリケートな問題だ。デリケート。およそあんたとは正反対のベクトル上にある言葉だな。というわけで、上司のことを見込んで相談したい。上司だけに。で、I give her the rundown, including how many times Lifetime leaped, and what happened with Suzuha and Fat and Fetis. This time she believes me more readily than I expected. つまり、えっと、ちょっと待って。彼女が実は橋田みたいな外見だったとか、そういうこと。え？What?これはひどい。絶対ありえない。あんな可愛らしい子が男だったなんて、私は認めない。待て待て。突っ走るな。俺は一言もルカコの見た目がいかにも男だったとは言っていない。むしろ見た目はあのままだったのだ。男だったとしたら中性的というか女性ホルモン分泌型としか思えなかった。As <laughs> a result, I didn't even notice when Lukako became a girl at first and made a fatal mistake. <laughs> yeah. 見た目はあのまま he looked like she does now. Acceptable. What? Well, it's it would seem like like that did something to the computer. So. <laughs> Is it possible? Well, I'm only just... I'm only just... Uh, uh, I'm only just assuming there. Uh... Is it possible that since Fittis apparently out of the blue like that managed to remember something from a different world line, that Lukako does remember something from a different world line too? And that's why she was acting that weird when 
talking about the computer, it seemed like she knew something. Is what he said. This is my punishment. I must shoulder the pain of everyone who used the email. Suzuha, Felis, and now Lukako. これまでのことを悔やんでても何も始まらない。あんたの相談に対する私の回答は一つよ。ウルシバラさんには何も言わない。どういうことだ？It would hurt too much。話を聞く限りだと、ウルシバラさんについてはあんたにアドバンテージがある。つまり過去に送ったDメールの内容を知っている。I think it's already too late. I think she already knows, uh, Lukako. I think that's why she's acting so weird. Is there, if there is going to be an alternate ending with uh, her remaining a girl, there has to be something about it, I suppose. So you don't have to tell her, him, ex him. <laughs> わざわざ漆原さんに事情を告げなくてもDメールを取り消すための justifies the means, huh? だが、問題が一つある。俺はルカコの母親のポケベル番号を知らない。はあ？あんたバカじゃないの？なんでメモっとかないわけ？Well, when the world line would change, it would disappear. こんなことになるとは思わなかったのだ。Even if you wrote it down, it would have disappeared anyway. お母さんのポケベル番号を担当直入に聞き出せば。well, even if he thinks up a good excuse, uh, if Lukako is remembers, she will know what he's up to instantly. Yeah, it is going to look suspicious. Well, vain and arrogant. That wasn't un uncalled for. Well, I don't have time to be Owen Kyoma now. And I, I was gonna say, I think uh, everything that's happened so far, all the things that he had that he had to undo and everything, has made him more serious and less uh, completely crazy uh, li like he used to be. I think that's changed him as a character. Yeah, that was really harsh, you know that. ひどいね。なら、担当直入に、ありのままを話すべきなのかもしれない。怪我に小細工を浪するより、真実を告げる方がまだ正義がある。妙に見える。マットサイエンティストが正義とか笑っちゃうわね。well, try sincerity. If it doesn't work, send yourself a email to the past so that you don't use sincerity. Like, tell yourself, well, you know what? Forget about sincerity. It didn't work. Try something else. Rinse and repeat until it works, I suppose. You don't need to send the email that much far into the past. そうしなければならないのだ。最終的にDメールを取り消したとき、ルカコが女だったことはなかったことになる。故に、俺が背負わなければならない。だったら私に相談する必要なんてない。今すぐ彼女のところに行って、私にしたように説明すればいい。そう
乱れは部屋に置きっぱなしでいやそのことはいいえそうですか Well, crap. Now that we're face to face, I can't bring myself to tell her the truth. I recall Lukako's crying face. She looked very sad when I called her a guy. If possible, I don't want to make her cry again. No. Why am I acting so weak? I can't stop here. I swore I would do anything to save Maidi. If I explain everything properly, I doubt she'll refuse to become a guy again. Uh... Hi. No reaction. Well, this is not going very well. I explain everything. Well, about time travel, about the D mail Lukako sent, about Mayuri's fate, about how to avoid it. I talk and talk without pausing for breath. Finally, I'm done. If only. Did you explain the part where you need the IBN T100 and that somehow sending that message to her to, to her mother's pager is what triggered the computer to not be there anymore? Because if you leave that out, that might be hard for her to accept. Sorry, I know I'm being selfish, but I'm begging you to save my ID. I need you to become a guy again. Okay, so uh, my, my theory that she could remember uh, was not, not right. Think she loves him? Well, 
from her, from her perspective, having lived all her life in a world line where where she was a girl and where, uh, well, until Okabe started remembering that stuff from other world lines, well, until that time he considered her as a girl, and now all of a sudden he considers her as a guy because that's what in reality he's always known her as. I uh, I could understand how she would be super hurt. <laughs> Then the Kako shakes off my hands and runs away. She doesn't stop even when I call her. She disappears into the shrine office. I need to come up with a plan. Hmm. When I get back to the lab, I take Kurisu outside. I then proceed to tell her what just happened. Is he going to do exactly what I said? You raised the flag? Are they just going to follow the plan that I outlined earlier? Like, send a email now? To uh, prevent him uh, approaching the problem that the way he did, he shouldn't have been honest. That's the that's the thing. That's basically what's gonna happen. I bet. Flag to a, shibou flag no koto ka. Shin de dou suru, renai flag yo. Eh? No. A romance flag. Yeah. <laughs>。In fact, I think he already loved Kyoma even when he was a guy, I think. There always seemed to be that kind of like uh, shyness when he was around. But part of the reason he wanted to be a girl, I think, was so that something between them could be possible. I suppose. That's how I see it anyway. She sure is calm when it's my neck on the line. <laughs> Thankfully, you can undo what you just did. Love is trouble. There's no formula for calculating people's feelings. Has this girl never been in love? きっと本人を積極するハードルは医薬的に高くなった。今度は別の解放を考えるべきよ。彼女のお母さんに直接話を聞きに行くとか。彼女を泣かせた男として、あんたはすでに古しばらけに認識されているはずだから。<sighs> You're gonna have to send an email. Lukaku likes me. I don't want to believe it. I mean, I appreciate the sentiment, but... ちなみに、ルカコはいつから恋愛フラグビンビンだったと思う知らんがな。だってよく考えてみろ。あいつは一週間ほど前まで男だったんだぞ。その時点から好きだったのだとしたら。それは岡部の主観でのロジックでしょ。フィアフォーマーフォーナフォーマーフォーナエルスペクティブ。シーワーズオーウェイズアガール。
ルカコの父親の話では IBN5100 は少なくとも以前は柳葉八神社に存在していたということだ鈴葉がフェイリスの父親に託し彼の死後にフェイリスが柳葉八神社に奉納したその流れは俺が IBN5100 を手に入れた世界線と同じなのだ段階的に元の世界線に近づいてきてるっていうことか思ったんだけど世界線ってそう簡単に変化するものじゃない気がするなぜそう思うだって世界には60億以上の人間がいるのよその中の誰か一人の性別が男から女に変わったところで世界線が大きく変わるなんて不自然うーん鈴葉が言っていたがタイムリープによって本来と異なる行動をとった場合ダイバージェンスは変わるとしても 0.00001% だと言っていただがフェイリスの D メールを否定した時は 0.05% の変動があった 0.05% でも十分大きい If what you're going for is 1% then yes it is big It's like a 5% アトラクタフィールドが大きく分岐する年ですね A 5% of 1% if you get my meaning 俺と IBN5100 が握っている IBN5100 と岡部の距離がダイバージェンスの数値を決定するのかなつまりあんたを含めたすべての人間の D メールがバタフライエフェクトによって IBN5100 のありかに影響を与える D メールの中には俺のリーディングシュタイナーが発動しないものもあった、うん、逆に言えばリーディングシュタイナーが発動した D メールだけを取り消していけば IBN5100 はあんたの手元に戻ってくるのかも Hopefully, the reigning D mails were sent by Lukako and. Kiryu Moekaka.、Mm. That's gonna be trickier yet to undo. I don't want to see that woman again if I can help it. Because you don't know what she sent and she's unlikely to tell you. In any case, I should focus on Lukako right now. Lukako no Kenwa, do s e r e b i やっちゃえばえマジで ?He can't help but see her as a guy though, that's gonna be difficult. 別にためらう必要ないでしょそうやって彼女の心を解きほぐしてあげればいい。そしたら、心よく教えてくれるんじゃないマユリが死ぬのは2日後だ。のんびり解きほぐしている暇はない。<笑>これは最後の選択肢として考えておいてほしいんだけどやろうと思えば漆原さんの人格を否定して脅してでも番号を聞き出すこともできるあ<笑> If she puts it that way, he doesn't really have a choice. He's gonna have to go out with her. そのことを彼女も忘れてるはずそう考えれば最後の手段として検証する余地ありだと思う。マユリが死ぬことに比べたらまだマシってレベルだけどね。はあ、私、今すごく最低なこと言ってるな。It's to save マユリ。あらゆる手段を講じるのは必要なことだ。だがそれは、できればやりたくない。Hmm. Not saying this for myself. From my perspective, when the world line changes, everything until that point becomes undone. But what about from Lukako's perspective? What if, even after I leave it behind, this world line continues? The Lukako from this world line will have to live with wh what I did to her. Besides, I have the time leap machine. In any case, the first thing I should do is have an honest talk with the girl in question.
I couldn't get a wink of sleep. I was up all night thinking about Lukako. She gives me a glare that's more cute and frightening. She's never been very good at getting angry. Girls are gonna talk amongst themselves, you know. Those two are close friends. I should have known Lukako would go to Mayuri first. Of course Lukako could talk to Mayuri. I should have known. ルカちゃんはマユシーの友達だもん。話してくれないならね。マユシーはオカリンと絶好だよ。もう。ラボメンもやめちゃうんだからね。this is the first time I've ever seen Mayuri so angry. I'm not sure how to deal with this, honestly. Uh, I did it to save you. But I can't tell you that. <laughs> I can't let Mayuri know of my true purpose. She's sharp, even though she never seems to be thinking anything. わかるよ。だってね、マユシーは毎日オカリンのことを見てるもん。それにね、昨日も外でクリスちゃんとずっと話し込んでたでしょ。悩みがあるならマユシーも聞くよ。<笑><笑> してほしいな。ね。それでね。ルカちゃんに謝りに行こう。仲直りしに行こう。マユシも一緒に行くから。うん。ワイズラフィングナウ。おかり。やれやれだな、マユリオ。<笑><笑><笑><笑> この俺が悩みだと。バカも休み休みえ。この俺は狂気の末度サイエンティスト。王王院強魔だぞ。この俺に悩みなどない。あるのはただ。コントウェの活動と野心のみだ。She can probably tell. I can't tell my Yuri I can't. That's your lying. Even if Mayuri hates me for it. Hmm? From Lukako. Okabe-san, I have something important to talk to you about. Please come to the shrine when you can. I'll be waiting. Please. Something important? What? I told her everything yesterday. I even told her about Mayuri's death. Or is it that she remembers now? Perhaps after sleeping on it, she finally decided to believe my story? どこ行くの? 
When I reach the shrine, I find Lukako standing alone in the courtyard. She still hasn't noticed me. Finally, Lukako turns around. <coughs> We stare at each other in silence. Crap, this is awkward. <clears throat><笑>まゆりに何を話したの that's a relief. Lukako shakes her head. She believes me? Why then, yeah, all of a sudden? I'm trying to be gentle, but for some reason I wind up talking like Phyllis. <laughs> I really don't know how to deal with Lukako now that she's a girl. Yeah, uh... Boku is something that only guys use normally. I think girls usually would only say what is she. Whether it's being polite or... Uh, well, for guys, Boku is like the... The casual way of saying I in a r normal conversation, where what actually is something like more polite for a guy, but for girls, there's no difference. It's the same same word in both cases. So I, what he, sh he's referring to himself as a guy even now. <laughs> That's great, but I don't know if you should react like that. So she's willing to go back to being a guy even though I hurt her feelings. Even after I hurt her feelings. For her to believe me in spite of that makes me pretty happy. Mm -hmm. In exchange, she wants something in return. What, what is she talking about? Stopping what? <laughs> this is hard enough as it is, but... <laughs> it takes me a while to process the word. What did she just say? She wants me to be her boyfriend until tomorrow? This is not gonna be awkward when he comes and goes back to being a guy. No. Wait just a second, this is too sudden. I can't think straight. No, that's just wrong. I am not attracted to Lukako. Oh, yeah. 
I'm so embarrassed, I can't look back. <laughs> Obviously, her being there is gonna help him make up his mind. そうだな。ジューシーカラーゲンナンバーワンオレンジでチンしてDメールを集まりABCと。およ。うん。おいわ。すなわち電子レンジはバラジュ時代の思想を受け継ぐ騎士たちの錬金術が生み出したものであり
右脳と左脳をつなぐ脳量っていうのがあるんだけど女性の場合はこれが発達してたりするほらよく言うでしょ女性は2つ以上のことを同時にできるってそれは脳量が発達してるからだっていう説もあるわねえっと、uh, what? What the hell is she talking about? <laughs> これはどっちかっていうととんでも科学に近い俗説であってそれほど信憑性が高いわけでもないんだけどちょっとだけ試してみてもいいかなな何をですかあなたの脳が女性としてのパターンを示しているのか男性としてのパターンを示しているのかマッピングしてみたいの。Uh oh, sounds scary already. I'm not a no know how sample to step across it and around the kit. Don't you got to see a bit of a little bit? What is she gonna have? Is she gonna have her time leap? I'm to die job with a car. What does she got? Hosho Sukara. Hola, Hola. Oh, my, what do you know? Hentai or Yazika. That's part of the plan. Ah, so. Secaco, you're so you at Skynawake. That are you at the door in Kyle. At the one to study the Gambarina, sir. Kurisu leaves the shrine with squared shoulders, muttering darkly to herself. You'd like to know. The result is the same, of course. What? What did you? What did you expect? What did you think was gonna happen? It's morning now. This is the second time I've woken up like this, though the date was different the first time. In any case, my mental state is exactly the same as back then. And there we go, same scene. Of course. ルカちゃんに相談されたんだよ。男だったって言われたって。オカリン、なんでそんなひどいこと言ったの？これから会いに行ってくるから、案ずるな。え、そうなの？あ、よかった。オカリンが謝らないって言い出したらね、マユシは
までまゆりちゃんが危ないことにだからリーやってください Same thing. <coughs> I can't! And then, he, and then he runs away. It's time to set Operation Christina 2 into motion. Excuse me, I need a moment. You feel the normal? <laughs> Uh, how could she have heard it if she isn't there? <laughs> Easy for you to say. Even if she's a girl now, she used to be. He always knew her as a, as a guy until then, so. From his point of view, it's complicated. That's not really what she is now, but he can't. Really consider her as being anything else. It's tough. <laughs> and you kinda already f found her attractive as a guy before, so. That's what's. It's, it's awkward in so, in so many ways. I understand how we would how, how we would feel torn like this. <laughs> what a useless assistant. So <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. Is this pressure? Is she applying psychological pressure? Yes. So, <laughs> Please be my boyfriend. Alright, the four day trial relationship. But still. I'm on a mission to change Lukako back into a guy. I need to accomplish that mission to save Mayuri. If I go out with the girl Lukako and fall in love with her, then will I be able to treat Gaia Lukako like I used to? <laughs> but on the other hand, Lukako's cooperation is essential to save Mayuri. She's ho she's holding Mayuri Mayuri's life hostage. I won't get anywhere if I reject Lukaku and make her cry. And I bet not sending the email will mean remaining with her in a relationship. <laughs> uh, for the sake of my goal, I must overcome the problems of my heart. Hi, Jeff. I'm a bit further in now. I'll take Lukaku's deal. But if we're going to do this, I tell myself there is one rule that you must follow. No kissing. You must not fall in love with Lukako. And not sending the Dmail is gonna mean doing just that, I suppose. <laughs> A bit further into the game, I mean. Uh, 
きり嫌だって言われるかと<笑>よかった<笑>よかった<笑><笑>ちょっと待ってくださいね。He's always at the lab. So, in other words, she wants me to decide for her. Yeah, take the lead. Be a mine. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He's asking her for, for help. I had her wait for me outside the shrine, but she was completely useless. Well, yeah. デートだそうだ。うん。狂気のマットサイエンティストさんって女子高生とデートしたりするのね。ちょっとも狂気じゃないな。ごめん。ちょっとイライラしてたよ。言い方がきつくなった。あんたは<笑> マユリを助けるためにこの選択をしたのよね。明日デートするにしても、プラン。No、he お前に一言言っておく。アイザック・ニュートンと同じ。IQ170に生まれついたこの俺、法王院教魔は狂気のマッドサイエンティストである。それで異当然マッドサイエンティストである以上、興味があるのは女よりも研究である。世界を陰で
Uh, Mayuri, Okanin became a mad scientist for Mayushi's sake, right? Maybe it's irresponsible of me to say you don't have to act like a bad guy. What was that about? Okay, well, they're done arguing about that, at least. <laughs> that was painful to watch. <coughs> An unclean appearance is out of the question. Haircut is especially important. Long hair looks dirty, so it's no good. Why exactly am I in the maid cafe getting date advice from my younger assistant who is also a girl? Oh, oops, sorry, I skipped a line of dialogue there. Uh, on the f conversation catch. に話すだけでは相手が楽しいはずがない。特に女性は会話をするのが大好きなので、むしろ男性は女性の話を聞く側に回ってあげるべき。ただ聞くだけではなく、きちんと相づちを打つことが必要。そうすることで女性は話をち
in that case I don't have to waste money. <laughs> the practical thinker. Oh, I don't have to waste money then. <laughs> If you really had feelings for her, if you think it's a waste of money f from the outset, well, it's already not a very good sign. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Kuritsu watches this with great interest. I guess this is our first time at a maid cafe. No, it's not Kurisu either. <laughs> I wonder if she feels something for him in this timeline too. Well, I guess I did hug F Feris. <laughs> but that was on the 14th, so when I time leaped to the 12th, it was undone. Unless she still remembers it, but I shake off a pang of loneliness and return to the conversation. We've seen the ending where they end together, Feris and o o Karin, so... They're a couple in that one. The next day, Lukako and I are walking around Akiba together. <laughs> Event number one. Lunch, lunch at the family restaurant is already complete. I took care of the bill and now we're back out in the heat. I've got the entire day planned out in my head. It's all on holiday, so Akiba is crowded. <laughs> You're making the moves on too many girls. Self-conscious visual novel. <laughs> this conversation thing isn't going too well. Nani? Nanda. Oboete. Imaska? Hmm. Bokto. Okabe san ga. Hajimete deatta toki no koto. Oh. You're not supposed to just say oh. You're supposed to say oh yeah, I remember and and start talking about it. You dance. It was during Golden Week in May. Also, it was not exactly that long ago then. He's not supposed to remember it though, because the first time they met, Lukako was a guy. So it can't have been the same thing. The world line was reset. Him being a girl, well, Lukako being a girl, uh, Things probably didn't happen the same way. その<笑> Uh, hold on, what? What was that? Miko Miko Overdrive. Fictional, a magical girl anime with five Miko girls as the protagonists. Its target audience is adolescent girls, but many men in their 20s like it too for some inexplicable reason. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is a reference to something that actually exists. If it is, I've never watched uh, any anime or heard of an anime with five Miko girls, so... Unless it's supposed to be something like the five schoolgirls, like in Sailor Moon or something. Or I guess, yeah, I guess it could be sort of 
sort of inspired by that, I suppose. Some guys watch Sailor Moon, so... For uh, some inexplicable reason. <laughs> uh, okay. Main guy saves frail girl from indecent people cliché. Because <laughs> we are losers. <laughs> I should think that actual Miko don't go out and on the streets dressed like that. I mean, but whatever. To be honest, the Miko garb fascinated me.俺の名は<笑> その。Oh, okay. Well, that's a fairly straight explanation. Yeah, frail girl. Yeah, there we go. First, <laughs> if you know Otaku Pride. Yeah. <laughs> Really? That's how it works then. <laughs> Main guy saves frail girl from indecent people that are very unrealistically scummish cliche. <laughs> yeah, the way he remembers it, he was a guy the first time around. So see, this is how you were supposed to tell whether he was a guy or a girl, instead of going straight for uh, <laughs> for its crotch. It's, I said, yeah, because I, y he didn't know if it was a man or, or a female, I, I mean at that point. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Those bastards were a disgrace to Otaku everywhere. That's the way he remembers it, but to her, that must not be the same thing, the person he is with on that date. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
でも僕みたいな男を助けて<笑>がっかりですよね期待に添えなくてすみませんお前名前はえウルシバラルカですなぜ俺に謝っただって僕こんな顔なのに男だしそんなことはどうでもいいお前が男だろうが女だろうが関係ないだがそのひがんだ根性気に入らないな<笑>ついてこいお前にいいものをやるそのアイテムさえあればお前は勇気を得るだろうお前の中に眠る真の力の存在にも気づかせてやる That's the, the time when he offered him the, the sword that he started training with, Sumidare. And that's the way he remembers it. Masaka Sonato Bukia Homponi, Samida de Ocate Murai Ritoa Omotemamimas. But she must remember it not as her pretend、uh, saying that she was a guy, the way the, from her point of view. I didn't expect he'd actually come with me. Afterwards, Lukaku and I went through intense training to develop the Seishin Zama School of Swordsmanship. その言葉があったからだから好きになったんです。Here it is. What? え ？He remembers like Ferris? Ah, yeah. But I suspected that that might happen earlier, but it didn't happen then, so I just assumed that it was a one-off. Ah, so it it does happen then. I imagined that it would earlier, but it happened later than I expected. Wait a second. Is she serious? But that Lukaku was a guy. Does that mean I made the guy Lukaku fall in love with me? Uh, yes. <laughs> you did. But I actually, even when he was a guy, there always seemed to be something. Like when you were around, he was like all shy and stuff. So, well, in a feminine way, I guess you could say. By the time I drop her off back at the shrine, I'm worn out physically and mentally. In the end, we didn't talk much. We just walked. She's just saying that out of consideration. I can tell that she's forcing her smile. All through the date, I couldn't stop thinking about the time Lukaku fell in love with me, so I barely made conversation at all. <laughs> Well, you're gonna go on a date tomorrow again because that's the kind of thing that you do. Mm. 
I feel a huge weight of my shoulders. Ah! That was already so painful today. I'm gonna have to go through that again tomorrow. And then the day after. And the day after. Another day tomorrow. This is a nightmare. Tomorrow. <clears throat> she dies on the 15th in this time in this word line. Okay. <laughs> 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 he's pl he's playing that kind of game on his computer. <laughs> they are not even shy about showing it or anything. <laughs> ah, you're gr you're great, Dalu. <laughs> you're great. Luca <laughs> Probably not, actually. ねえねえ、明後日のコミマ、ルカちゃんとオカリンでコスプレカップルとして出てみようって思ったりしないかな。オカリンからもね、彼氏として。ルカちゃんを説得してほしいな。まゆしがどれだけお願いしてもね。ちっともオッケーしてくれないんだよ。コスプレ。でもラブラブなオカリンからお願いされたらね。きっとコロってオッケーすると思うんだ。断る。Because Kamima is on the 15th. Mayuri is fated to die that night. How am I supposed to spend the hours before her death cosplaying at Komima? Shoujiki <laughs> Well, because you're going about it the wrong way, I should think. You're not supposed to worry about that. You're supposed to be yourself. And if you're meant to be with that person, it's gonna work out. And if you're not meant to be, well, it's not gonna work out. And that's it. Then you don't have to put yourself through that misery. <laughs> ちゃんが悲しむよ。好きな人と一緒にいるだけでね。女の子は幸せなんだよ。満足なんだよ。男の子はそうじゃないのかな。だとしたら、マユシーは寂しいです。Mm, didn't she? Didn't she say something more along the lines of lonely and not sad? But anyway, why would that make Mayuri sad? Okarin is a minority. Nandaよ。つうか、デートって言えばエロイベントたくさんあるんだろう。お前は実にバカだな。何言ってんだよ。手を繋ぐとか交えろくね。To think he's gonna end up with someone and have a daughter. <laughs> you play too much Heroge. What's even worse? Is that he's playing Eroge with Mayushi in the room, not even when he's alone. <laughs> What's his problem? Tatemobikurishimashtakedo. <laughs> 
あったからだから好きになったんですいや。He remembers something still feels off about her story. I was not paying attention. Let me see in the clip. What? I don't know. About about Daru playing Eroge、uh, in the room just,、uh, just now? I suppose that's what you mentioned. So, 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 Yeah, when he came in ba back from the date,、uh, uh, Daru was playing uh, uh, Eroge on his computer, and you could,、uh, you, could see, you could see the screen and everything. So you could see the, the girls in their, in their underwear on the screen. And Mayuri was in the room too, so、uh, it's past what Mayuri said. <coughs> I wouldn't have said that to a female Lukako. So why does this Lukako remember what I said? Feris regained her memories from before. Could Lukaku too have remembered the previous word line where she was a guy? However, but I think that's why, that's why she asked you to be her boyfriend for just a few days because she knew that when things would go back to normal, that wouldn't be possible anymore. So she wanted to like, take advantage of it, if, even if it's just for a moment. You were saying, didn't she say something more like lonely and not sad? Uh, yes, yeah. I thought Samishi me meant lonely and not sad. But maybe it means both, I don't know, depending on the context. Did Lukako like me even when she was a guy? I think I need to check this out. <coughs> The next morning, I head to the shrine to meet with Lukako. <laughs> Did he make plans for, for, for that day? お前には男だった頃の記憶が残っていないかそ,そんなことありません本当にルカコ just not stiffly マユリーズ life hangs in the balance so I'm sure no matter what I say she'll turn back or is it naive of me to think that? either way even though I'm doing this to save マユリー I can't just trample on ルカコ s pure maidenly heart <laughs> Neither of us speaks. Luca is the first to break the suffocating silence. Yes, that's what she said, yeah. She was talking. Well, I, obviously, I can't repeat the Japanese words because I couldn't remember that. But she, she said something about、uh, girls only care about being with the boy they like. Uh, uh, Okarin,、uh, don't boys also just like to be with the girl they like? Because if they don't, then that makes Mayushi sad, is what she said. Well, in, the, in the subtitle, that's what it said. But she used the word Samishi instead, in that context. And, well, I thought the word meant being lonely or something like that. Or at least in the context in which I encountered the word until now, it usually meant that. At least, or, all, or always. So that seemed a bit weird to me, but I guess it、uh, doesn't matter. That doesn't change much to, to what she said, and I understand what she means, even if it was not the exact words. But I hurt her. I feel guilty, but at the same time, relieved. I hate myself for it. Instead of returning to the lab, I stand on the bridge in front of the station and gaze blankly at the stream of people. Right now, I don't want to see anybody. I need to think. But try as I might, no ideas come, no solutions. I've done nothing but make Lukako sad. Tomorrow is the end. 
but I'm not confident I can show Lukaku a fun time. <coughs> Next morning, after Maidi and Daru have left for Ariake, I head to the shrine to pick up Lukaku. We hop the train to a a Akiba Station when she looks. Huh? Ascan. Ascan. Ascans? Is that how you're supposed to, to, to write that? I thought it was Ascans with an O. Yeah, well, but anyway, yeah. I think it means something like she looks sideways at you or something like that. But I'm not sure that's how it's supposed to be spelled. Whatever. I tell her we're going to see Mayuri. Today, it won't just be the two of us. When we get out, get off the train at Tokyo Big Sight, Lukaku stares in wonder at the scene spread before her. People, people, people. Welcome to Komima, the Otaku Festival. It means lonely. Check now to see if it has other meanings, and it doesn't have. Yeah, it's just a matter of the, the subtitle not being very accurate then. It's the first day, so Big Sight's more crowded than usual. Conversation will flow and I'll be off the hook. Of course, bringing a date that to Komima is a surefire way to earn myself the hatred of otaku everywhere, but no matter, I'll endure their contempt if that's what it takes to make Lukaku happy. <laughs> so resolved, I strike I strike out through the crowd towards our designated rendezvous point. Lukaku clearly overwhelmed by the sheer number of people struggles to follow behind. We walked around together for a while after meeting up with Mayuri, but after she left us, our conversation stopped. In the end, Lukako and I got fed up with the amount of people and left Ariake early. We took the direct shuttle bus to Akiba that only runs during Komima, but it was so cramped inside I thought I was gonna die. Only a few hours left. By the time we get back to Akiba, Lukako and I are exhausted. My feet feel like blocks of lead and I don't have the energy to even attempt conversation. Lukako doesn't raise a single complaint, but taking her to Komima was obviously a mistake. Lukako's expression has been stiff ever since we met up with Mayuri. Maybe she's still traumatized by Otaku. <laughs> I think back to the first time I met Lukako. Even back then, Otaku were harassing her. Maybe they left a bad impression. <laughs> we don't talk. When we arrive at the shrine, our time as a couple will end. So this is our last chance to talk, to talk as boyfriend and girlfriend. But I'm confused. What should I talk about? <laughs> silence dominates the shrine. The silence should be calming, but it's not. Today is the day Mayuri dies. She only has about two hours left. When you think about it, it's pretty insensitive of Lukaku too, because... She knows that he's doing that to save Mayuri's life, and expects... Uh, Oka uh, Okabe to just be the perfect boyfriend during those dates when there's this looming threat hanging above their heads that Mayuri is gonna die the very thing that they're trying to prevent uh, obviously is not gonna be the best boyfriend under such circumstances even if he had feelings for her <laughs> that would be difficult even at the best of times the temporary relationship between me and Lukaku ends here now I just need Lukaku to give me your mother's pager number. However, in the end, what have I done for Lukaku? All I've done is hurt her. Uh, she's grateful, it seems. <laughs> she was just happy to be around you, I suppose.
That's a lie. Maybe not. Maybe she's just happy the way things were. That was enough, I suppose. It's not completely unrealistic. <laughs> Unlikely, but not too unrealistic. That it has to be a lie. It's so warm and so thin. This is the first time that I've held her hand. The first time that her skin has touched mine. Since I became her boyfriend, and it would be the last. <laughs> so you <don't. gasps> this is really sad. No, 100% likely. <laughs> well, for the character, yes, I suppose. Well, for the fictional character, it was likely to be that way. I mean, under real life circumstances. Probably our mother's pager number. She kept her promise. I think she meant it, yes. In the context of the game. In the, con in the context of a written story that, it, that uses those cliches, yes. I think she did mean it. But if we're thinking in real life terms, it could still happen, but it wouldn't be... Uh, it, it's not what would happen like 100% uh, in most cases. Let's put it that way. I mean, I see... M maybe it's my... Uh, it's me uh, is, is seeing people being very superficial in the world that we live in and only a minority of people being, being uh, really that pure at heart. But... You could find someone like that, yes, definitely. I don't think everyone is not like that. But I think there aren't many people who would be like that for real. I can't let it end like this. I need to do this right. I run full speed back to the lab, ignoring Kurisu's calls to stop. I'll slap on the headgear and leap to the past. Under real-life circumstances, if the person who said that is the same person as Lukako... Yeah, well, right, right, yeah, okay. Two random people... Yeah, I mean to random people, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did mean to random people, yeah. I still look at off at the station and after going home to change into my regular clothes, I head back to Yanabayashi Shrine. Place devoid of visitors, where an aura of peace and dignity dominates, where the cries of cicadas resound. Lukako's home. <coughs> she might cry at any moment. This <laughs> 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 I strike a pause and mimic a line from a popular card battling anime. Until I witnessed Mayuri's death, this was how I acted all the time. Now it takes some effort, but I still have it in me. <laughs> so he went on a date with her wearing his lab coat? In that... Well, now that he's went back in time and reset everything? <laughs> The wind blows. The tree, the tree growing over the main building rustles its leaves in response. Dukaku looks at me blankly. Tears form in the corner of her eyes. この2ヶ月近く俺たち2人でやってきた修行忘れたのかいえでもあの岡部さん今日まだ我が名を忘れたのかどうか。If what my lady said is something like 
It doesn't make sense if it means lonely. I couldn't tell you exactly the phrasing. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that it... Yeah, that it might... Yeah, that if it really meant lonely, it d wouldn't make sense with, uh, with the context of the sentence. Yeah. There have been times when she said that. So maybe it can mean something else, or maybe it's pronounced the same way, but it's not the same kanji, so it's actually a different word. I I don't know. I I I don't know. <laughs><笑> Yeah, maybe so, yeah. Even if you've looked up the word and the, uh, like, translations don't come up with uh, meaning sad, uh, it's, it's possible that it might still do because you can't really, b uh, like, trust translators and textbooks and that sort of thing so uh yeah maybe it does make sense yeah in th that way yeah yeah it's true that if it did mean some if it did mean lonely yeah in the way with the context i guess it doesn't make a lot of sense like yeah or maybe it means like uh if 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 boys don't feel that way then it's then I feel like I'm singled out. Sad as in singled out because uh, then uh, she feels like boys can't feel the same way that she would. So she feels uh, like that there's no connection with the other person. Maybe in that sense, I suppose. That can be a combination of loneliness and sadness. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to, to, to too much to put sense in that sentence but anyway yeah it's not super important or anything just some something that made me wonder why why that was translated that the way it was might might be something that you can't really translate literally <laughs> おれは俺であり、ルカコはルカコであり、ルカコは俺の弟子だ。そうです。僕は、じゃなくて、キョウマさんは確かに僕の師匠です。よく言った。さあ、ルカコよ。サミダリを持ってくるのだ。はい。あの、待っててくださいね。すぐ取ってきますから。ここに。Yeah, she probably won't be swinging Samidai around wearing those clothes. どこにも行かないさ。Maybe it's just that people have started to use it with more of a meaning of sad and less of a lonely language changes. Yeah. True. The Gekko reluctantly lets go of my hand, shyly turns away from me, and heads to the shrine office. <clears throat> and the training begins. It's nothing impressive, though. <laughs> it's purely based on my Chunibyo delusions. I did almost all the talking. But Lukaku listens to my ramblings with rapt attention. Occasionally, we take a break, sit on the shrine stairway, and eat the sweet rice balls Lukaku's mother brings us. That's how we spent our extraordinarily ordinary time together. Yes. Hmm. 
だがカシマさんお前はまだまだ弱いんだからなはいもっともっとキョウマさんに教えてもらいたいです<笑> The breeze feels nice after the sweat we worked up We? You didn't do anything! <laughs> I feel like it's been a long time. He just uttered orders. <laughs> the manual. For dates. あの昨日僕に聞きましたよね。男だった時の記憶が残っているかって。お、he no surprise there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there you go. The subtitle even says the same thing. I expected she'd remember after what I, I experienced with Feris. I don't understand why, though. He's supposed to be the only one who remembers. Why now other people are starting to remember too? I don't really get it. すみません。昨日は嘘をついちゃいました。気にするな。この俺、法王院教魔を欺いたのだから大したものだ。そのおかげで、お母さんのポケベルの番号も僕聞かなくても知っているんです。うん。今日は<笑> She slash he really is a nice person. One more thing. Yeah, there seemed to be something weird when the computer was mentioned. Plus, Lucas dad confirmed that it was here at the shrine. And then one day it suddenly disappeared. Does Lukako know where it is now? ルカコ、お前は男に戻らなくても済むかもしれない。それは無理だと思います。え、なんで？ついてきてください。案内します。The hmm. Kako took me to the coin lockers near Daibiru. She told me that she'd taken the IBN 5100 from the storehouse and hidden it there. The story goes that Lukaku accidentally broke the IBN 5100 while cleaning up the storehouse. I, th I, s I suspected that it was exactly what happened. When her, w when her father said something like, you usually clean up that, 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 that part of the shrine, uh, and then uh, and he asked, uh, do you know something about the computer? And uh, she was like, no, no, I don't know anything. I figured, well, she must have goofed or, and like spilled water on it or something like that. 
Of course she remembers. On your first date, she told you about the first time you met. How, and how you told her that it doesn't matter that you are a boy. Yeah. So it, it could only have meant one thing that he she remembered. I can I never know where, whether I should sh should say he or she. It depends on on the word line. <laughs> uh, she only brought it to the lockers because she feared getting in trouble. Strangely enough, Lukaku said that it felt like two distinct memories had intertwined with each other. The first is the memory of her breaking the IBN V100. The other is a vague memory of herself as a boy. In that memory, she was cleaning the shrine's main hall rather than the storehouse, so she didn't even touch the IBN V100. Curious. I'd heard that if an item was left inside a coin locker for more than a month, management will dispose of it. When Lukaku pointed me toward the locker in question, that proved to be true. The locker was empty. As a result, the IBN 5100 will never reach me. Is this the butterfly effect? Well, she's not crying about it anymore, so there's that, I suppose. There's no longer any doubts in her eyes. There's no choice. She knows it as well as I. I can tell she's desperately holding back her tears. But those tears hold a different meaning than the ones I saw before time I time leaped. At least I'd like to think so. どうでもいいですよ。ああ、そうだった。まゆりちゃんのこと助けてあげてください。まゆりちゃんは僕にとっても大事なお友達ですから。ルカコ。あの。<笑> Please go. Don't make her cry. <laughs> Sayonara. She says it wrong. I turn back to the archway in the shrine's entrance. My feet are heavy. They won't advance. Then I take out my phone. Christina. Here we go again. I tell her Lukaku's mother p mother's pager number with another string of numbers. Meet, 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 veg, 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 meet, meet, veg, veg. When she sees this, Lukaku's mother will probably think it's a prank. And then she'll assume the email we sent earlier was also a prank. If that still doesn't change the world line, we can just try something else. Pagers back then didn't display the sender's number. Lukaku's mother won't know who sent it. I already told Kurisu the timer setting. Everything's ready. Now I just need to call the phone wave. Then the world line will change. Her memories will disappear. Mayuri won't die today. She'll die just one day later, however, I hesitate to open my address book. My thoughts turn to Lukaku, who is probably still watching me from behind. If I turn around, what will I see on her face? I want to check, but I don't think she, she'd want that. This time it's about I'm about to sacrifice Lukaku's memories. Even so. Is it okay to turn Lukaku back into a guy? I've sacrificed the memories of two friends already. I...
Oh no. This is gonna be too sad. Her words are like needles stabbing into my heart. Well, Phyllis didn't remember after the d -mail was sent, so... We still don't know actually why. Yeah, we still don't know why they retain some memories there, but not after the d -mail is sent. is harsh. Well, he never really... But <laughs> we don't really know if he had any fe kind of feelings for for, uh, for for him as a guy, I suppose. F found him to be more attractive than some girls, yes, perhaps. But actual feelings, like, n not physical. He probably never had any, whether he was a guy or a girl, so... In that sense, that never mattered to him. Because it's still, it's still different from being physically attracted, I suppose. Yeah, he, he never had those feelings even now that, she, that, that, that she's a girl, so... Can I do this? Is this really okay? I'm about to sacrifice someone again. Is it my place to make that decision? Ah! Here we go. Keep a save of this. Uh, here. Call or don't call. Huh. 
Well, from here on out, I will always choose the not send or not call first, and then move on with the story. <gasps> if I make the call... There, not sent. <clears throat> I've already trampled on Suzuha and Fairy Felix's memories. I turned a blind eye to their suffering all the while telling myself it was to save Mayuri. Hmm? There's no alternative. But even so, I don't have the right to erase Lukaku's entire life as a girl. I can't do such an arrogant thing. More than anything, I don't want to lose the Lukaku beside me right now. Mayuri can't be saved. Mayuri's death is fate. <laughs> no matter how many word lines I cross, conversions will occur. Mayuri will die, no matter what. I'm tired of it all. Mayuri, I'm sorry. My ego wasn't strong enough to sacrifice everything for your sake. Uh, it sounds... It still sounds harsh, even if you do it that way. A few otaku warriors linger to check their spoils before beginning the Odyssey home. Otherwise, Ariake is silent. It's as if the crowd Lukaku and I saw this afternoon was an illusion. Mayuri will die in about 10 minutes. I'm not ready. Even so, I want to be with her in our final moments. I won't let her leave this world alone. That's why I came here right after leaving the shrine. She should still be in Ariake somewhere. I contacted both Mayuri and Daru by mail. If they are still in Ariake, they should be here any minute now. My phone rings. Speak of the devil. Lukaku. Please tell me, is this really okay? She doesn't have to say it, I know exactly what she means. This was my choice, you don't have to worry about a thing. I know that mail won't be enough to stop Lukaku from blaming herself. Memories from this morning rise unbidden. I'd been up all night trying to solve the problem of my last date with Lukaku. うん。楽しいデートはできたかな。あのね、昨日からルカちゃん <laughs> The day before, Lukaku burst into tears barely five minutes after we met up. Then we parted ways. That's why I couldn't give Mayuri an answer. Ah, she said Kanashi this time, Kanashi. instead of Yasamishi. Kanashi. Kanashi. It was Mayuri's last day alive. And also Lukaku's last day together with me. Could I really let it end with both of them sad? Huh? 
してルカコを連れて行ってもいいかおっともちろんいいよルカコにコスプレをしてもらう件はどうなったああ結局ね説得はできなかったよ嫌がってるのに無理やり着せたりしてねトラウマになっちゃったらよくないもん、so、basically she gave up. <laughs> でもねルカちゃんにコミマに来てもらうっていうのはそこで雰囲気を見てもらったらルカちゃんもやってみようかなって思うそしたら次の冬のコミマでいいからコスプレしてくれないかなどうだろうなそうなってくれるといいなねえねえ本当に今日ルカちゃんを連れてきてくれるああオカリンもマユシーの作ったコス見に来てくれるそういうことになるそっか本当に二人に来てもらえるならねと<笑>じゃあもう行かなきゃ絶対来てねずっと待ってるからね今日だけじゃなくて明日も来たいって思うように頑張って案内するから Whether or not my 80 will live to see tomorrow depends on the choices I make. If this day had gone as planned, my status as Lukako's temporary boyfriend would have come to a close. Lukako would have gone back to being a guy. She would go to Komima tomorrow without a care in the world. Okari? Doka shita? Mondai nai. Sekai o shihai suru kikan to ika ni taikes suru ka nitsuite. Sko shi omoi o hase teita kita. Hiruma. ありあけで会おううん待ってるねマユシーだったらいつでも何でも相談に乗るからねマユリ<笑>じゃあ行ってきまーすタイムリミット was 13 hours after that point in time in those 13 hours I was to return Lukaku to manhood I thought I had to change her back But now, Okari? a voice calls me back to the present. I chose not to turn Lukako back. I chose to not save Mairi. No, let's not beat around the bush. I chose to let her die. It's not that I don't want to save her, I do. But I can't bring myself to make the necessary sacrifice. Lukako? <laughs> Her every word seems an accusation. Of course, I know that's not her intent. Even if she knew what I had done, this innocent childhood friend of mine doesn't have a bitter bone in her body. But even so, I can no longer change the past. I don't want to change it. So I have no other choice. No other choice but to accept the death this world so desires. I can't let my Iri seem sense my unease. アンズルナマユリ、俺とルカコは至って順調。あの秋葉原の先森たるミコとは強い絵にしで結ばれているのだ。そう、俺とルカコは離れたくも離れられない運命なのだよ。<笑>そして今日、この俺の IQ170 を誇る灰色の脳細胞を持って。ルカコに笑顔を蘇らせたあいつは言った俺と一緒に修行ができて楽しかったとな本当よかったじゃあオカリンとルカちゃんは別れたりすることもないんだねああ別れない Actually our temporary relationship has already ended That was our agreement But I don't think I need to tell Mayuri that. So, Mayuri, 
I don't want to watch the second stick down to Mayuri's death. Well, is she gonna die or not? Or is he going to be the one who dies? <coughs> if that's what Mayuri wants, then I won't deny her. Besides, I don't want Mayuri's last moments to be on a crowded train or bus, but rather somewhere she can see the stars. Not that I have any right to choose her place of death. Why is she so happy? Did she hear something pleasing somewhere in this conversation? Was it knowing that things are going well between me and Lukako? Or was it just the fact that I'm here with her? ルカちゃんってね、マユシーがドキドキしちゃうくらい可愛いの。世界中の人たちにね、ルカちゃんの可愛さを知ってもらいたいって、他にも思うよね。あ、それともルカちゃんは自分だけのものって思ってるのかな
マユシどうしたんだよ息してないえ何これなんだよこれオカリンマユシがマユシがなんか変だよ死んだんだ。She wasn't killed this time, that's a relief. At least マユリ died in one piece. 死んだってそんな嘘だろだって今の今まで普通に話してたしおいマユシ起きろよドッキリかドッキリだろ僕を騙してどうしようってんだよ誰マユリは死んだ救急車を呼ぼうなんでこんなつうかお前なんでそんな平然とした顔してんだよ死んだんだぞもう帰ってこないんだぞわ、わかってるわかってるじゃなくてさマユシが息をしてないんだよ俺は見殺しにしたは俺はマユリを助けられなかったいや違う救わなかった見捨てたんだ俺はマユリを Tears don't come. Maybe I've gotten used to it. Or maybe it's because I'm not worthy to mourn her. What fills my heart is emptiness. How much time has passed since Mayuri's death? I don't want to look at anything. I don't want to see anyone. Even breathing is hard now. And yet, I have no choice but to face this emptiness. This heart. heart rending. Uh, what? Jeez.、Uh, heart rending guilt and accept what I've done. That is my duty now. Oka de Mo Mikamaso Yatirikido Semit and Anika Tabitara Anta Sitan Disho Mayuriga Anohi Sinukoto Toast the time leap Sinano Antanara Mayurio Taskirita me. タイムリープマシンを使うこともためらわない私はそう予測してたそもそも漆原さんの性別を男にして IBN5100 を取り戻すっていう計画はどうなったのあんたはマユリを助けるためにその計画を実行に移してた<笑>いやそれとももしかしてあんたはすでに IBN5100 を取り戻して別の世界線へと移動した後とか Well, you should know you were supposed to be by the machine 岡部凛太郎の残死あまりそして世界はパラレルワールドとしてここではマユリが助からなかった未来が継続する IBN5100 は取り戻さなかったどういうことルカコを男に戻すことは俺にはできなかっただから運命を受け入れた No, that makes it sound like I wasn't responsible マユリを見殺しにした Why did I confess? It should have been a secret between ルカコ and me And yet, do I want to be blamed? Would that make me, would that make me feel better? However ご飯食べる Curiso betrays my expectations. Cup men de okereba, scurkedo. Seretamo Nanika Katakuru Semeroyo Mayrio Korosta Oreni Okoreo Okorita Kimotiwaru Kedo Yametok. わたしがとやかく言う必要はないみたいな。ああ、それはとてもいいです。ユーキュリス。インガリツを
あんたの選択の意味は誰からも理解されないそんなあんたを一度もタイムリープしてない私が責められるわけないなんでそんなに物分かりがいいんだ She's nicer than you knew. 物分かりがいいわけじゃないあんたがタイムリープでマユリを助けようと決めたその時に誰からも分かってもらえないと覚悟したはずだったらそれを甘んじておけなさいそうすればあんたは自分がしたことの意味について忘れることはないから So in other words she's telling me to suffer on my own What a cruel woman I don't see it that way あんたはあんたが取った選択によって助けたもう一人の子について責任を取る Yeah, how much she feel? マユリは死んだわ残念だけど残念という言葉だけじゃ足りないぐらい悲しいけどとにかくマユリは Yeah, but Lukako is still there 世界の終息世界の意志には逆らえなかったでもあの子は今も生きてるあんたのおかげで女の子として生きてるそしてあんたと同じように孤立して苦しんでると思うあの子の苦しみを理解してあげられるのは共犯者である岡部だけでしょ共犯者 That really hurts <laughs> The Kako's image floats through my mind. She used to be a guy. But now she's a girl and she lives as a girl. I am the one who chose that future for Lukako. In that case, I know what I must do. Arigato. Chris, you were able to talk to me. It was good. As I enter the courtyard, I can almost feel the heat slowly drain away. Beside the main building stands a large tree, its branches coated with the vibrant, vibrant, vibrant leaves, and then the thing goes away before I'm even done reading.、Uh, sway in the gentle breeze. As usual, the shrine is empty. I wonder if Lukai goes home. Her family should be here too. How should I call for her? Just then, the wind suddenly lets up, and the sound of rustling trees stops for a bit. In the silence, I hear someone sobbing. ルカコ岡部さん、昨日、マユリちゃんの告別式に行ってきました。みんな、泣いてました。マユリちゃんって、本当にたくさんの人から愛されてたんだなって。もちろん、僕もマユリちゃんのこと。かなり人見知りする性格だけどまゆりちゃんは変わらずに明るく接してくれて僕にとって一番大好きな友達だったんです I lost the words I was about to say All I can do is sit silently next to Lukako なのにねえ岡部さん僕たちどうして<笑>マユリちゃんは死んじゃったのに僕はこうして今も女に Now that she has memories of being a guy Lukako is at odds with her own identity and she's struggling to deal with it I have no idea how that feels Just as Kurisu said, Lukako is disconnected from causality too. You'd better say, say something, or、uh, all of this will have been for nothing, and she's gonna die too because she's gonna kill herself. Not anymore at that point in time. Yeah, 
Is she talking about the time leap machine? We can't go back. We can't go back that far. You've still got emails, though. まゆりちゃんに死んでほしくないルカコ諦められるわけがないだろう。考えたさ。死ぬほど考えて、もがいて、もがいて。どんな手を使ってでも助けようとしたさ。世界は無理だった。世界はあいつを死を望んだ。俺がどれだけそれを回避しようとしても。Those alternate endings are pretty grim up to that point. Well, other than the one with Phyllis, I guess. Well, it doesn't solve the problem with CERN in the future. But at least everyone was alive, even if his relationship to Mayuri, Kurisu, and Daru was uh, completely different, and he was uh, Phyllis's boyfriend. At least, no one was dead. Just, well, they might have been in the future because CERN was gonna reduce the population of Earth to uh, a b one billion people and that's it, I, s I think, or something like that. Dada. No, there is something I can do. There are still things I can do to save Mayuri, but I chose none of them. ごめんなさい。僕、岡部さんの気持ち、ちっとも考えてませんでした。だけど、無理なはずないですよ。もう一つだけ方法が残ってるじゃないですか。there's no meaning to our choice if we did if we do that I chose Lukako over Mayuri ultimately that's all there is to it <laughs> and he will feel because you said that that you're such a nice person that you shouldn't have to suffer <laughs> There is that idea conflicting him, uh, the conflicting inside of him. Because you're just too nice. It's precisely because you'd be ready to do it for Mayuri that he thinks you deserve to have what you want. <laughs> それに元の世界線に戻ったところで、マイリの死を回避できるかどうかは絶対じゃないんだ。俺はその低い確率のために誰かの思いを、お前の思いを犠牲にはできない。だから。もういいんだ。岡部さん。でもこんなの許されないです。僕は僕という存在に耐えられないんです。僕が女の子であるということが、マユリちゃんの死の上に成り立ってるなんてこと。これから一生受け止めて生きていくなんてこと。
Yeah, it's there is no easy answer there. It's really one of the most depressing endings so far. Well, I guess Suzuha committing suicide was pretty, pretty depressing too. お前は何も負い目を感じることはない。全ては俺の選択だ。マユリを殺したのは俺なんだ。だから罪は俺が全て被る。I am the one with the power of God. I am the one who chose Mayuri's fate. Therefore, I am the one who must bear the responsibility. You can't just choose for someone to be happy just because you wish for it. Even if you choose to take all the blame on you, that doesn't change what she feels. Yeah, it's, there is nothing you can say. It's the only way that they are going to bear with it by doing it together. We still don't know how that works. And it's really frustrating. Kurisu said the same thing. We are disconnected from causality. Nobody else can understand us. That's why. ずっと we both bear the same burden. We'll accept Mayuri's death, yet still live on, shoulder to shoulder. I'm sorry, Mayuri. ねえ、岡部さん、僕、マユリちゃんにどうしても一つだけやり残したことがあるんです。そのせいで、マユリちゃんに悲しい思いをさせてしまいました。What cosplaying? <laughs> She's gonna start cosplaying now. Oh, that. These last few weeks, Mayuri was constantly asking Lukako to wear the costumes she made for her, but Lukako was too embarrassed to try. ルカちゃんってね、眉しいがドキドキしちゃうぐらい可愛いもん。ルカちゃんって普段おとなしいでしょ？あんまり自分の意見も言おうとしないし、コスプレするとね、普段の自分とは別の自分になれるんだよ。
きっと新しいルカちゃんを見つけられると思うんだそしたらね今より積極的な性格になってねもしかするとオカリンをお尻に敷いちゃうかもしれないよ<笑> Even on that day, Mayuri only talked about Lukako. Jikan o Sakanobor Sochi o Tsukate. Ano Hini Modore Masenka Modore to Oh my God. Honki Nanoka. Nobody's used the time leap machine except me. Chicken Sigil. Areva Oregani o Tsuka was rather nice. Onegashima, she's not gonna leave anyway. Her memories are gonna get sent, but that ending still exists from the point of view of Okabe, so. Thank you for the host, Dobby. Inga no wakara kanzen ni hazrete shimaun desu yo ne. Sore de. Okabe san to onaji kimochi o seoemas. Takara. Her innocent feelings warm my heart. Lukako truly cares for me and Mayuri. In the end, I have to grant her wish. Tobi saki wa itsu ni. Ano hi no asa ni. So she's choosing the morning of that fateful day so she can cosplay with a smile. But to jump to that day would take at least three consecutive leaps. Will she be able to get all the way to the 15th? But despite my worries, Lukako's remains undaunted. お前を眉りのところに連れて行ってやる。はい。心配するな。脳が少し痛むぐらいだから、すぐ収まる。はい。向こうについても決して取り乱すなよ。落ち着いて状況を理解するんだ。大丈夫。俺がついている。じゃあ
look forward to that and I'll be back tomorrow uh, around the same time as I was today and we'll be going through chapter 9 then. Thanks for watching, see you tomorrow guys and take care.